Hi and welcome to Computer Architecture Lab. Today we want to implement half adder. As we are discussing the addition, I want to take you back with your memory to your early days of your school where we have learned the counting and the addition. If you remember at that time, they taught us how to add in vertical way. So when we want to add two decimal number, we used to write them in this manner. In beginning, we didn't know why, but later on, we came to know they want to introduce us a new concept that is called carry. So when we have two digits like five plus five, the output is two digits because it is 10, so 1 and 0. So there is a concept of carry. So we need to carry out 1. In this way, we have 10. I am sorry to bring you back from that beautiful memory to the reality of computer architecture lab and binary. So the question is how we can add binary numbers. If you have guessed it is same as decimal numbers, it means you are smart and you are 100% correct. It is the same way we have done in decimal, we will do in binary. Nothing is different. 0, 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. But what if we have 1 plus 1? The answer is 1, 0, isn't it? Okay, so it means two digits. What did we do when we had 5 plus 5? We carried out a number, right? We carried out 1. The same here, we need to carry out 1. And we reach to the same result. Before going to the practical, to Tinkercad, I want you to remember one thing, that we have a digit called sum and other digit called carry. How about other additions which they had only one digit? These will, the answer we get is a sum and carry will be zero. The same with here and now we need to see the truth table of what we have done. The first digit of all the additions I put them in one column. I labeled that column as A and I considered it as it is our first input. The second digit of our addition, I put them in different color and I stacked them also in another column and I labeled my column as B. All the sum digits which we have discussed in a previous slide, we put them in orange color and I also fit them in the third column and I labeled that column as sum while the yellow one is carry out I put them in the last column and I labeled it as C out now as we have seen this truth table has two inputs and two outputs if you guess that two inputs means we need two logical gates to implement this half adder uh, then you are correct what we need to do we need to look at each output individually and try to find something similar from the logic gates we know so some column is low whenever the inputs are equal and whenever the inputs are different, it gives me high output. Just go back with your uh, memory. Try to find which logical gate has the same output. And if you guessed that is XOR, it means you are smart. Because that is true. XOR give me low output whenever the inputs are equal. And whenever the inputs are different, it gives me high output. Now let's go to the second output of my truth table. Then we find it is giving me high output only and only when the inputs are high. 
try to recall what kind of logical gate give me or uh, have the same behavior that is AND gate. So at this moment, we know what kind of logical gates are required to represent the half adder. What is remaining for us to make circuit diagram before going to Tinkercad. Circuit diagram is so simple. We will provide a connection to both logical gates and B input same to the both logical gates. The output of XR will be labeled as sum and the output of AND gate will be the carry out. We will go to Tinkercad. First thing, as we know, we need to bring the breadboard, our base. Once you place your breadboard in uh, your workspace, you start looking for your logical gates. At this moment, we need two XOR and AND gates. Once you put these two uh, ICs in your uh, and placed it in your breadboard, you provide connections to it. Get a pin number 14 to high voltage and pin number 7 to low voltage or ground. Ground is black and high voltage is red. Same we will do with the AND IC. Pin number 14 to high voltage and red color. Pin number 7 low voltage or ground and we make it a black color. Now we need to bring the switch as we used to do to simplify our work and to simplify our testing. The first input, which is A, and here we, it is 1, we need to provide it to two logical gates, X, or and, and. I will make the color different as it is in my circuit diagram. Now, the second input, or B, is green. I will leave it as such. I provide a power connection to these two uh, switches and color them as red. Now the first XR is connected to proper inputs. Now what I need to do, I need to make a means I need to short these inputs with. AND gate, as I'm presenting it in my circuit diagram, I need to do it here. So this vertical line to provide inputs to the AND gate. Now I need to take the output of XR. This output is the sum, as you can see in this diagram. I will make it also orange, as it is in my diagram. I need LED to uh, demonstrate the output when it is high and when it is low or when it is zero and when it is one led cannot be connected directly to our output that's why we need a resistor resistor terminals you can swap them anyone you can use to connect to the output and anyone you can connect it to the anode so one the output will be connected to one terminal the other terminal of resistor will be connected to anode and cathode has to be shorted with or grounded. This ground as we are used to do we need to make it black. Now we are left with the AND output. Now this is sum, isn't it? So in our in our circuit diagram it was colored as orange, that's why LED I make it orange. The output of AND gate, I will make it now as yellow and I will bring the LED for that to represent the carry out. 
I cannot again connect this directly to the output therefore I require a resistor this resistor one terminal of this resistor will be connected to a node or one leg of the uh, of the LED and the other terminal to the output of my AND gate cathode now this output to one terminal and the other terminal connected to a node and then cathode has to be grounded in this way I am about to finish just I need to make my to label this color to make these colors then I will bring power supply once the power supply is placed I need to make connection of the ground or the low low voltage and high voltage connection then I have to uh, connect these ends with each other so that I can access the power supply from any place of my breadboard I'll start simulating when my first input is 0 and second is 0 sum is 0 and carry out is 0 same as my uh, truth table when it is 0 1 then the sum is 1 and carry out is 0 that's correct when it is 1 0 sum is 1 and carry out is 0 and when it is 1 1 sum is 0 carry out is 1 in this way half adder has been uh, implemented it's your turn uh, to do your own circuit looking forward to see your work kindly say save your work because you will be uh, assigned some marks for that uh, in during your test looking forward to see you and wish you good luck